going on guys welcome to another video on the channel the final fantasy 7 rebirth state of play just came out today and final fantasy 7 is like one of my favorite games of all time it's the first time i got into jrpgs first time i got into rpgs just in general watching my brother play it on the og playstation and so this series has a very very special place in my heart and i loved final fantasy 7 remake and final fantasy 7 rebirth seems to like kind of take those same feelings and like kind of put them to the forefront for me and so i'm really really excited about this game i this is one of my most anticipated games for 2024 i'm very very excited so i just want to go over my top five things that i'm i'm stoked for for final fantasy 7 rebirth that they showed off in that state of play today so let's get right into it the first thing on the list is the open world i did not expect final fantasy 7 rebirth to have an open world if i'm being completely honest Final Fantasy VII Remake was a lot of corridors, a lot of alleys, and stuff like that. Final Fantasy XVI is kind of the same way as well. But this was awesome to see. Seeing all the different regions, all the different places that you can visit. Seeing that each region gives us a different story about a specific character or, like, progressing the story as well. Like the Nibelheim region kind of giving us the Cloud and Tifa story. Cosmo Canyon giving us the Red Thirteen story. In Gaia region going into the Zack story, the Junon region giving us the might of Shinra and what it's all about, the Corel region giving us Cossida's soul, which looks awesome by the way, and the Golden Saucer, the Grasslands for to, uh, for us to continue the story straight up from Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm hoping these all kind of interconnect at some point at the end with the side quests with like the main quests that kind of got, have like a little through line with all through them. So I'm guessing, I'm hoping, not guessing, I'm hoping that they all kind of come together at the very end of this game, leading into the third game. The team up attacks are something new added to Rebirth. This system is called the Combat Synergy System. Roughly, it looks like the Sphere Grid system from Final Fantasy X, which I know a lot of Final Fantasy X fans are really, really excited for this. When they, whenever they see circles and a grid system and with like skills and everything, Final Fantasy X fans get so, so, so excited. And I can't blame those. The Sphere Grid system was really, really well done. The system is called the Folio system, and this intertwines with all the characters. It looks like there's going to be stat boosts, abilities, synergy abilities, and so much more. There are so many synergy attacks in the game. They showed so many of them from each character, from, like, Kate Sith with Tifa, going from Red 13 with Tifa, Barret with Aerith, Cloud with Kate Sith. There are so many different ones. I do wonder how they work depending on who initiates it and like are they different depending on who initiates the synergy attack all that kind of stuff I'm really really excited to see when I actually play the game okay I know this really shouldn't be on the list but we've been burned way too many times with performance mode this is gonna be a short one but there are so many games that have come out in the last year that performance mode has really lacked or it's not optimized at all some games run only on 30 FPS on console, or the performance mode, like I was saying, is just really, really bad. <coughs> Final Fantasy 16. <coughs> so, but I'm hoping in this game, but from what we've seen, obviously this is a curated cutscene or battle, that it is a 60 FPS game on performance mode. You can do a fidelity mode for 30 FPS, but since this is only for the PS5, I feel... I feel like they should have this nailed down, but I was already betrayed by Final Fantasy 16, but my fingers are still crossed. The fourth one on my list are the side quests. Okay, I want the side quests to be more impactful. Because let's be honest, Final Fantasy 7 Remake quests weren't that great. I would say about 85% of them weren't even that good. They were all pretty much bu busy work, but it seems like in this game, in Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, they are more structured from what they have shown. It seems like a lot of more story is built into them since you go to the same kind of NPCs over and over and they kind of give you a little bit more of the story. There's gonna be some fetch quests in it. I, I, I understand that. That's usually what side quests are and it sucks, but I'm hoping there is, they're just more compelling quests. Again, <laughs> Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> the last thing on my list is a doozy. Seeing the other side of Zack's story. This is something new to Rebirth. So as we know in the OG Final Fantasy VII, there's things that happen in Crisis Core and leading into OG Final Fantasy VII 
that pretty much contradict everything that happens in this game and how this game ends. So I'm very, very intrigued to see what, why they made this decision, what made them go for this decision at the end of the game. So I'm hoping we get a little bit more of that story and get that side of it. I want to know how they're going to tell a story and how it intertwines with the main story with Cloud and Company. Like, do we get to play Zack at some point? Do we get to actually go into his shoes and go through Midgar that's already been destroyed? I wonder if they're going to do it while we're in the Gungaga region and it's going to be kind of like this back and forth with Cloud and Zack. Because we have seen scenes with Jesse, we've seen, we've seen scenes with Biggs, Wedge, all that kind of stuff. So I'm guessing we go over there, but do we actually play as Zack? So that's going to be the other thing that I'm very, very intrigued in, how they intertwine with those two stories. It kind of gets me really excited because it's something that we haven't gotten in the Final Fantasy. Like, it's not from the old Final Fantasy games. So that's what kind of gets me like, all right, let's go. I'm ready for this. Now that my ramblings are over, I feel like I started to sound like a crazy person but if you guys like this video hit that like button if you guys like the content on this channel hit that sub button what are you guys most excited about for final fantasy 7 rebirth tell me in the comments below and uh thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one